Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here and today I'm bringing the heat. I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a hairband wig from Harula Hair. But this hairband wig install is not just any hairband wig install. I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide the band and do a half up half down hairstyle with this jerry curly texture. My twin sister actually has a jerry curly headband wig and I saw it on her and I was like, "Ooh, I got to try that." So it does come with a headband. This is what the standard black headband looks like in the front and then this is what the back looks like with the velcro attachment for those who've never seen these you just attach the velcro on the back it does come with combs on the inside and these are longer combs so I do like that and it came with additional hairbands so right now I'm showing you all my type 4 natural hair edges this is what they look like I don't have any product on them currently but I am going to add some curl defining glaze just to slick them down and get them somewhat tame for the hairband wig install just to demonstrate what that looks like but I am I'm gonna get them really sleek later on when we do the half up half down hairstyle so now we're gonna install the hairband wig I'm just gonna show you all really quickly what that looks like so I'm detaching the velcro in the back showing you all the inside and then I'm gonna put it over my stocking cap be sure to wear a stocking cap and as you can see my hair doesn't match this texture but once you add a headband it doesn't matter as much if your hair doesn't match, but y'all, this hair is gorgeous. I got mine in length 24, and y'all, the curls are ready to go right out of the package. So now I'm gonna show you all what it looks like with a headband added. I feel like once you add a headband, you can somewhat get away with your edges not being jailed down. So this is what it looks like. I feel like it looks much better. Now I'd recommend gelling your edges down and getting them much more sleek than mine are, but if you don't desire to, this is what it looks like and as you can see you could wear the unit up in the back I'm just showing you all what it would look like if you did a little ponytail but now it's time to show you guys how to hide the band on a hairband wig and get it looking bomb so now we're going to wear the hairband wig as though it's a half wig so we're going to conceal that band that it comes with and I'm going to show you all how to install it on my type 4 natural hair and get it to look so amazing and this is one of my favorite hairstyles that I'm going to be showing you all today to begin, we want to start by prepping our natural hair, and I just have my hair in four braids. I'm going to take down the braids in the front. I'm going to leave the braids in the back alone because we don't have to do anything with those. So I'm just going to part my hair off in the front, and this is going to be my leave out. Oh, please don't misunderstand me. No, these boys, they do not get me. No, no standing at the party. Play my song, I'm on the floor. You got something else, you're different. Pick my interest, wait a minute. So once we've taken out the leave out, we're just going to pin up the braids in the back and these are going to be tucked away. Now to hide the band, you just want to fold it under and we're going to create a half wig look and then we're going to install that in the back. But before you do, be sure to add a stocking cap. This is going to reduce friction on your natural hair, which is going to decrease damage. So now we're going to fold that over. Keep in mind the combs are going to be hidden, but you can still insert them into your hair. Just be sure to insert the combs while also still folding that black band and it's going to be fully covered. After inserting the combs in the front, be sure to do the ones in the back and the unit is pretty much installed but we got to get this natural hair blended so I'm going to begin by using a bristle brush in order to brush my hair in the front and then I'm going to start to mold my ponytail pulling hair from the back to ensure that my ponytail is full I didn't see it coming now it's too Now that we've distinguished what hair is going to be up in the front and what hair is going to be down, I'm just going to clip the hair in the back out of the way and begin blending my hair with the hair from the hairband wig. Keep in mind, if your hair is straight or if you have a loose, silky texture, this is going to be much easier for you. But because my hair is textured and highly kinky, it doesn't blend at all. But we're going to get it together, guys. Stay with me. I start by adding my less jam to the front of my hair. And I like using this because it's very conditioning and it also adds a great deal of shine. 
I just like to use this as a step prior to adding the got to be glue gel because that can create a white cast and I don't want that. So I'm going to start with this product and then I'm going to layer it with the other, being sure to use my brush as well as a fine tooth comb just to get my edges nice and sleek. So I'm going to let you all watch this process and I'll come back on in a moment. <laughs> Walking on sunshine, all my troubles melt away. Yeah. Oh. It's perfect weather, it can't get better. It's just another sunny day. Sunny day, hey. Rolling with the top down, yeah. California dreaming now. Wow. Cruising down the one on one. One on one. Everybody knows it's time to let go and have fun in the sun. Yeah. All I see are blue skies. Yeah. Boulevard sipping in the backyard, yeah. Corona with some lime. Oh. Good vibes flowing, the sun is glowing, it feels like summertime. summertime. Skating down the boardwalk, yeah. bikinis on lock, you can't get better than this. Better than so now that we've gathered our natural hair in with the hair from the hairband wig, I'm going to begin to clip my hair out of the way along with the hair from the unit just so I can get those separate and I'm going to work on these edges a little more because they're not as sleek as I desire. So we're going to add more gel. Any areas that are frizzy, they need gel. Sun is setting, the day is ending, and all I feel is bliss. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All I see are blue skies. Blue skies. This feeling just feels so right. Sometimes I do like to add a bobby pin just near where the ponytail holder is just to keep the hair taut and looking really sleek in that area. But do whatever works for you. Now I'm going to grab a satin scarf and I'm going to wrap that area for about 5 to 10 minutes. While I'm allowing my edges to set, I'm going to work on the hair in the ponytail just making sure that it blends and my natural hair is actually concealed. So I'm going to start by removing the clip and then I'm going to spray water on my hair first and then I'm going to add some curl defining glaze to my hair. I probably should have added gel as well because you want to make sure that your hair is really tamed and then I'm going to twist my hair up and then wrap it around the ponytail we aren't finished yet I am going to do more to that area but right now I'm just going to create volume in the hair by using a wide tooth comb and I'm just going to comb it out and fluff and get it to my desired look <laughs> Now that the hair volume is to my liking, I'm going to remove the satin scarf and my natural hair is going to blend so much better with this hair texture. If there's any white residue from the gel, then just be sure to wipe that off with the satin scarf, but this is looking so great. Now because the hair is so full in the back, we want to make sure that our natural hair also looks full along the edges. So I am going to be using Topic in the areas where my hair looks a little sparse. This is just how my natural hairline looks. And I think for the most part it's fine, but this is the perfect opportunity 
opportunity to show those who have thinning edges a quick hack that you can use. So again, what I'm using is called Topic and these are hair fibers and I'm just spraying it onto the areas that look thin and it creates a really natural and seamless look and this will wipe off with a cloth or with water. So it's really quick, really easy, but be sure when you get it that you get the little spray nozzle because it doesn't always come with that. Also be sure to use a fine tooth comb in order to distribute the product along your hairline so that it looks natural and it's not just caked up in one area. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of hair from the hair in the back of the ponytail and I'm gonna wrap it over my hair just to make sure that mine is completely concealed. But do this tight. I didn't show it as tight on camera, but I did go and fix it later. And then I just added a clamp in the back and you'll see that in a moment. But these are the finished results, guys. This length and this texture looks so amazing. And this style would actually look really good with a shorter length as well, but I love the way it turned out. The jerry curly texture is amazing. And I know once I wash, it and to find the curls it's gonna look even better because I'm telling y'all my sister's jerry curly unit is amazing and I love that this hair is also really affordable and as you all can see my natural hair although it's type 4 I was able to get it nice and sleek and looking really good with this unit I'm gonna turn around and show you guys what it looks like in the back you don't have to worry about the wefts in the back showing although you pulled it up at the top the wefts are gonna be concealed because of the ponytail but I am gonna show you guys what it looks like if you put it up in a bun now I'm not sure what it looks like off camera I felt like it looked good but I'm not able to really tell because I'm not right up on my hair but I'm gonna show you what it looks like if you decide to do a half up half down with the bun at the top it's really really cute but you may have to use a hairband to cover the back area but I'm not certain but I hope that you all enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already also check the description I'll have all the links and specifications along with the products that I used so you all be sure to check down there leave a comment letting me know which style was your favorite and will you be trying this method of hiding the band when wearing a hairband wig once again like comment and subscribe and also share I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next tutorial bye guys well, I swear that it ain't fair it ain't fair that